Hi, it's Snowflake, and I'm going to show you how to track a blur with someone's face in a moving image. Isn't it much better when I'm energetic and not boring, like most tutorials out there? I think it's more entertaining. Just me. Cool. So this is a continuation of the last tutorial, uh, where I show you how to add a blur to someone's face to blur out someone's face. Well, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do the tracking to take that shape and follow the person's face around the screen. Okay, and we're going to do this in Apple Motion. So I've already set all this stuff up, and if you want to see how I set it up, check out the last tutorial. But what we're going to do is we're going to select our mask. And make sure you have the arrow tool selected. We're going to go down here and hit the record button. And the record button is going to record every action that you make. So all the adjustments and stretches and values and everything that you're changing, it gets recorded. So be careful because you really only want to do this when you would rather drag stuff and move it around this way than type in values and add keyframes this way. This adds continuous keyframes as you're dragging things around. Okay? So be very careful with this and be very aware that you have it on because it, once it's on, it can mess things up if you're not intending to do something with it. Okay? So it is on. And we're going to uh, start from the beginning of the sequence. Now, I've aligned the shape up so it's with his face. And you'll see if I hit play Look. that it starts out there, but then he moves out from underneath it, right? So we want to make sure that it follows him. And the way that you do this is you hit play. And then frame by frame, unless you were like super speedy quick and were able to follow it around live at real time, frame by frame, you click and hold down the shape. And frame by frame, you follow his face. Super entertaining, I know. But it works, and what you'll do is frame by frame, you will follow him. Uh, and if he moves around, well, you can move with him, and maybe you gotta go back every once in a while and make a couple adjustments here and there, but that's okay. You just sort of follow him around like this. Uh, you wanna make sure that when you're doing this that you know, you're really paying attention because depending on what you're doing it for, uh, it can be very important to make sure that the identity of someone or something remains hidden. Um, I. Personally, I've worked on projects where it was very important that we did this, and um, you know, I it spent a lot of time doing this on hours of footage, going through and blurring a guy's face, and you know, I had to go through and, and quality control it and review it to make sure that that blur stayed on it. And there was a couple of things that I caught, and you want to be really careful because you can really harm the identity of someone or something uh, that is trying to be protected by this technique. So. I'm going to just go, I'm going to go along here so you can see what it looks like. Uh, this is only a 10 second clip. Don't worry. It's not going to be forever. He stopped moving, which is awesome. And then you just keep going forward, forward, forward. I'm almost there. Oh, he's slowing down. This blur is awesome. And here we go. Done. We're going to make sure to deselect our record button because we're done with that. I'm going to save because you should always be saving. And then I'm going to show you what that blur looks like and how it follows his face. Look, people tend to be where they are in their finances because of where their focus has been on those finances. Hmm. Words of wisdom. Well, I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure to like my video and comment on it and then subscribe. You should really freaking subscribe. Okay, and then check back later. For more tutorials and tips on Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, and Compressor. Thank you.